Okay, so we're going to be defying death here in the shop today. Defying death, if you know what I mean. I'm going to do a lot of work underneath that loader and I'm not going to support it. I'm just going to risk my life for the next two hours as I work on the front end of this 7410. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I know. Some people may think I'm crazy, but you know what? I already know. There's nothing to think about. It's the truth. But anyhow, here we go. Let's say we get this shit show on the road. Yes. The shit show! What you got there, Joe? So the first person that's going to risk his life when he walks underneath that loader is Joseph. Let's see if he dies today. You want to die today? Oh, no! I changed the hoses on it a while back. It's pretty safe. I guess if it fails, it fails, but as long as there's nobody in the cab, life should be good. Now, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today because I don't even have to tell you. I'm underneath the loader. If you look at the front of this tractor, it kind of looks a little funny. You ever see a really fat chick as she walks, her kind of knees knock and her legs kind of spread out at the bottom like that? I don't know if you see that. Uh, not that I'm making fun of fat chicks or anything, uh, don't get me wrong here, I'm just saying, it's an observation line. So, this girl here, this 7410, she's kind of overweight on the front end with crone bales. And uh, it really does need to get fixed. So what, it, what happens with this tractor is when you put two, three bales on the front of it, there's an extremely large amount of weight that's down on the lower end of it. And it breaks, it just breaks them breaks the, the bearings. God, I'm worried now. I'm actually worried. I might die today. No, that could break. It does have a little leak in it. It doesn't settle though. Ah, fuck it. If I die today, it'll be on film. So, yeah. And Joe, you're supposed to post it. So anyways, what I got to do is get the front end of this thing jacked up, get those wheels off, pull the knuckles down. There's four bolts there. And uh, yeah, now I got a phone call from Beer Country. I mean, Deer Country. Okay, so, so we're going to get her jacked up and get this tire off of here. Uh, Tim is going to demonstrate how loose that is. And I'm pretty sure you could see it uh, when I jacked it up. I missed it myself here, but I know what it... It looks horrible when you jack it up and the wheel just goes clunk back into position. Uh, yeah, so this isn't long overdue. This happens suddenly. It's not like you notice much uh, at all and then all of a sudden, boom, it does it. That's just the way they are. Now, if you don't do anything about it pretty quickly, uh, the tire will wear right out. Now, you're probably looking at the right tire on this uh tractor and wondering why it's bald as my head um there you go watch this oh did he do it anyway yeah uh, yeah it is bald because i don't know it just the right wheel on, tire on this tractor always wears out faster now whether when it's in four-wheel drive um, i know my father will forget to take it out of four-wheel drive uh, on the roads and even though when you hit like 13 or 14, eh, 12 or 13 mile an hour, it pops out of four wheel drive, that still creates wear on the tire. And when you're pulling, say hills and things, and you drop below that speed, the four wheel drive unit comes back on. And uh, I believe that's why the right wheel or the right tire is wearing out. Uh, the other thing is that right side, uh, we had a broken uh, ring gear inside the hub on that, and I replaced it. So I'm thinking that it could even be that that ring gear is a slightly different size than the one on the left, <laughs> and it's causing that wheel to you know wear out faster. Uh, and it did seem to start doing that after I had replaced that. I mean, they always did wear out pretty evenly until that happened. Uh, of course, it was a used piece that I put in there, but oh well, such is life. Um, yeah, so things just go the way they go because they go that way, I guess. Uh, but anyways, it's not really a major concern of mine other than I'm going to have to buy two new front tires for this thing, and I'll probably keep the spare, uh, the one on the left-hand side, as a spare, and, uh, you know, there you go. I'll have one spare, and then when that right-hand side tire goes out, then I'll just throw the spare tire up on there. And it's very important on these tractors that you keep 
the same diameter tires on the front because it does create a bind in the uh, in the system and you really don't want to bind stuff but here we go okay before everybody gets all stupid about this and I say stupid about this this tractor hold on a second this tractor when I bought it back in 19 or no when was that 2005 I think I bought this in the spring of 2005 <coughs> So that give you an idea as to how long I've actually owned it. When I bought it, it had like 7,000 hours on it. It was like 7,100. And uh, we've more than doubled that uh, since then. It's a 1998 model. Uh, this tractor takes the biggest abuse there ever could happen to a tractor because it obviously has this loader on it. And these parts, these parts that these parts that are in here, the kingpins, I've replaced the kingpins once, and these kingpins don't look too bad. Uh, what happens is when they break and you don't catch them, they'll cock sideways. And I've already, I've already gone a month without replacing them, which, to my stupidity, it really cost me then because I had, I had to uh, really repair the, repair more of it than what could have been should have been repaired. Uh, this tractor takes an, an enormous amount of abuse. If you know anything about loading and unloading hay on and off of trucks, trailers, wagons, and God knows what out of the field, this thing runs constantly, constantly, constantly running. So, with that being said, you know, it is, it just runs constantly. I don't want to hear, oh, you keep replacing those things, you're not doing it right, you got to do this, the lash isn't correct. Look. I've done this enough. I know what the hell I'm doing. The only reason, and I'll tell you, where is this thing? I'll show you. I won't tell you, but I'll show you. Where, ah. Because of the extreme weight on the front of this tractor, what happens is the shims, you see these shims? They're supposed to have a nice round hole in them. These shims, this is what they're supposed to look like inside there. All right, right there, nice round hole. This is what they look like. So with the constant weight, it just keeps working that metal. It's like forging steel. You ever watch Forged in Fire? That's exactly what is happening to these things. They're getting pressed, twisted, turned. The grease, the dirt, the grease that's in there brings dirt into the system, into these, these king, into these, these shims. And then that dirt starts wearing and they start spreading and getting thinner as they get wider and start to wear. So you've got that to contend with, okay? So you start getting a gap in there. I've changed these, you know, over time I'll pop one side off, I'll add some shims to it, take the junk ones away, add, add what is worn away. So if I take three of these out, I add three of these in. And when I do that, then uh, it takes up the space and that actually allows them to last a lot longer uh, so and that's the whole name of the game is to get it to last a lot longer but because this thing is hauling millions of pounds over the course of the year millions of pounds think about that millions of pounds over the course of the year they wear pretty consistently pretty evenly I think it's been about two years since I've done the front end of this as a matter of fact I know exactly when I did this in 2015 16, 17, 18, 19. So we're looking at three or four years when I really had to work on these. I don't think I've done it since. But what I have done in those four years is I have replaced these shims, you know, as they wear, which in the long run saves me the bearings. Uh, so what happens when these things wear, the kingpin actually cocks in there, and the roller bearing or the This roller bearing, or this wheel, this roller bearing, or wheel bearing, as you, that that actually cocks sideways, which puts an awful lot of pressure on one or two points, <laughs> one point, like right about here on the uh, on the race, and it breaks them. It'll actually break that steel. Once you break one, that's it. It's done. It's spent. No more history. Done. Out of the door. So I have enough of these things that I can replace them all, and I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, I'll replace the worn shims that are in here with new shims. 
and and uh, you know it is what it is. It's just it's just called the cost of doing business. Uh, am I happy that it breaks? No. Uh, that's really the one of the main reasons I went with the 8120 to put new to put the loader on because that tractor is built about five times heavier than what this one is. It can take the abuse. Uh, using a different type of grease, obviously I have decided that uh, a lithium, not a lithium, but a uh, uh, molly grease for these slow turning bearings uh, and surfaces like that will be pretty good. Uh, anyways, I got a call. glasses in there or did you leave them? I don't know where they are. Sorry this video got cut short, but we had company. And we were talking about things that don't need to be discussed on the internet. Right? Right. Bottom. I don't know. Fucking bottom in first. Bottom in first. Good work. You gotta roll it each way. Roll it forward. Roll it back. Roll it forward. Flip it up. Yay. Holy shit, man. How close are you? Nowhere near a hole. I'm actually the exact opposite. But now. Too far. There he goes. Where is the exact opposite? Hey there. So anyway, we we're just putting a tire on. What we ended up doing was replacing these shims, I put new ones in. I didn't have enough, so I had a couple of old ones that were in good shape. So I threw those in. Are you down there? Are you still fucking around? Well, I'm still fucking around. Get the stupid thing on straight. Well, you know how to do that, right?
tight. <laughs> Fly your kite right out of here. So, anyways, yeah. So we're putting the wheel back on. Mr. Joe is doing this side. The other side needs to be worked on.